Welcome to the Migrating Mom. My name is Rakia and I am here in Accra, Ghana. This video I wanted to make um, about an experience I had here um, at the end of last year and that is my water birth experience um, here in Ghana. I don't usually share this kind of thing like you know y'all y'all know i don't really get too personal at least not on youtube um about anything just because it's my personal preference right but i wanted to share this video because and talk about my water birth because i was just wanted to encourage other mothers out there mothers to be um parents to be that you can do it, <laughs> okay. you can do it. Um, especially if you're coming here to the continent and you're looking for options. Um, here in Ghana is definitely, it's an option. It's not something that is very well known, that water birth, um, but you know, it's definitely possible. So um, I'll start from the beginning, I guess. So my husband and i in march had our traditional marriage ceremony um hold on. <laughs> we had our uh nika ceremony in march we actually we actually had our civil ceremony we actually got married legally um the november before, prior to that but in march we had our traditional ceremony so that was for all of the family and everything like that um that was beautiful i'll actually share that too i had the wedding video up here on the channel but um i had to i took it down because it was being flagged for copyright because of the song so i have to rework it the video uh, some of the footage from the from the ceremony but i definitely want to show you all um that too because it was a beautiful um it was a beautiful day but um so we had the the ceremony and then four days later i found out i was pregnant <laughs> after that so um yeah so even though I did have a water birth, um, I was seeing a doctor for my prenatal care the entire time, the entire time, like all the way up until the week I had the baby. So um, the hospital that I went to is um, Landmark Healthcare in Tema. Um, my doctor was Dr. Chike. Dr. Chike, I can't say enough good things about him he is super like down to earth he was like really open-minded about all things about the water birth and all that and um you know he was just really really amazing so google landmark healthcare and you'll see the facilities are beautiful there's a pool there's like you know they have like a little place for you to eat they've got the inside is clean it's updated and everything so and um obviously compared to the u.s um the services are much more affordable obviously since you know um yeah so that's that um yeah so we found out we were pregnant like yeah about four days after the ceremony um, i saw dr chike the entire time uh i wasn't positive on whether i was going to have the baby at the hospital or i was going to have it at home the only thing i know knew was that um, I was I did not want an epidural um, and it's not because I'm like Miss Natural or, or no shit like that it was just because when I had my older kids um, when I had my older kids I had an epidural with both of them and there were some complications with that because I have scoliosis and so when I was a teenager when I was 13 I had a spinal fusion which means I have a metal rod on each side of my spine and it goes almost the entire length of my spine so because my but even though i had the spinal fusion my spine is still curved it just it just adjusted it just fixed it so that it's not as curved as it was right because it was severe so um when i had each of them there was a i don't know how to like a small issue with the doctors in trying to decide where exactly to place the epidural needle because my spine was is curved right so that just posed some issues that i just knew i never wanted to have again in my life um so i decided that um uh, coming here getting pregnant here that that's something that i definitely didn't want. i definitely didn't want epidural complications uh here right any kind of that kind of emergency so i decided that it was better 
you know, I'd rather risk the natural birth complications if there were any than the epidural complications, right? That's my lot. That was my logic. <laughs> so I'm like, um, yeah, so, so I wasn't, I wasn't, um, against medical, have, you know, having some kind of medical intervention. I just didn't want an epidural. Um, yeah. And like I said, when I explained that entire situation to my doctor, he was completely fine. He understood. He was like, yep, we get it, you know, so natural birth it is for you. Um, and he okayed me. He cleared me on that. Um, not long before, you know, somewhere in the third trimester, he said, you know, I'm healthy. I'm definitely healthy. Baby is healthy. We're looking good. And um, he was like, yeah, I don't see any reason why you couldn't have a natural birth. Um, and that's exactly what we did. So <laughs> uh, we decided to have uh, the baby here at the house. Uh, we worked with a doula. Uh, Bobette of Ozuri, I think it's Ozuri Life. If you can find, I'll, I'll try, I'll get her 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 Instagram and website links and put it in here, in the uh, in the in the information, right? So and uh, midwife Fatih, I don't think Fatih is on social media though, but she was amazing, amazing, right? So I had a doula, I had a midwife. My husband was there the entire time. My children were there except for the actual birth for the baby coming out. They didn't want to be there for that, but they were there for everything else. Uh, my daughter helped fill the pool. Um, you know, it was just really, it was just such a beautiful experience. And my husband being there the entire time, you know, my husband is Ghanaian. So here in Ghana, the men typically are not present for the birth, whether it's in the hospital or not. They're typically not there um, during the, the entire, that during that process, right? Or like they're not in the room, right, for that process. And for him to be there was a big deal. For him to be there with me the entire time, and he was, he didn't leave my side, he was, he was there. Um, and it was just such a beautiful thing to see. Um, I was in labor for about 11 hours. It started around seven, and um, my son was born around six in the evening. Um, it was, it was, it was something I just, I really don't have any words, you know, like it started in the morning. I called, I WhatsApped the, my midwife, I, I sent her, my bed a message and I said, I think it's time, you know, and it was, and it was time. It was two days before the due date that Dr. Chica had gave me. So it was definitely time. And, um, so I, I had him right at 40 weeks. It wasn't, um, I don't think it was much longer than that. It was definitely before the 41st week. So he came right on time. Um, and yeah, I let Bobette know that morning that I think it's going down. And she said, okay, give it some time. I'll be over there. And she came over with the pool and was ready. You know what I mean? Bobette came ready. Okay. And she had the pool. Her and my daughter, they filled the pool up for me. Um, I was in it. I kind of rotated between the pool and the shower. Um, and it was so nice. Y'all, I can't ask it. Like, it was so nice to be at my house <laughs> okay it was so nice uh, to be in my shower at my house um and to be able to have my kids in there but you know they they could be as involved or as little involved as they wanted like I'm, I'm i'm not the kind of parent like you know you need to see this no like you know they're teenagers now they can decide for themselves what what they want to see and what they don't so um but it was a beautiful experience. It really, it really, really was like, you know, the baby, when he came out, um, you know, you kind of, you, you're in the pool for a bit and then, you know, you get out of the pool and then onto the bed, onto my bed. I cannot stress this enough. Like it's, you know, being in a hospital is nice. You have um, access to like a lot of services and things like that when you're there but it's just still there's nothing like being at home not having to get up and drive home with a baby after having had you know um after having given birth you know you're already at home so it was it was really nice but um i'm going to show you the video um again if you're on the fence or you're thinking about natural birth or water birth just know that you can do it um you know, like you can't tell me shit now. Like you can't tell you can't tell me nothing. Okay, <laughs> after I, okay, after I gave birth to this baby, that eight pound baby at that. What you can't say nothing to me. Okay, uh, but just know that you can do it. You can definitely do it.
and um, I'm gonna show you all uh, a quick a quick video. I can't show you all the footage because like I was naked through most of it, so I can't show you everything. But I can show you like some of it, some of the experience, and um, yeah, yeah, that's it. So enjoy. Okay, thanks. So So I hope you I hope you like the video. <laughs> Again, I couldn't show y'all everything, but I hope you get the message, right? And um, I wanted to stress to you all also like how important it is to have a doula with you, advocating for you. Because even you know before I had um, my son, um, Bobette came to a few of my doctor's appointments with me, and. Um, Sorry, my dog is here. <laughs> um, she came to a few of my appointments with me and she was there, you know, for the birth plan. And uh, she sent me some hypnobirthing uh, materials and things. So it was it was nice. She came to the house and we talked a bit. And the midwife got involved a little bit later in the process. So, but she came and did the damn thing, okay? Like, Miss Fatty was about her business. And um, I'm so thankful for both of them, so. Um, if you're thinking about it, no matter where you're having your baby, um, I highly, for black women, especially if you're in the United States, um, I highly recommend you hiring a doula, someone you trust that can advocate for you because when those contractions hit, like you're not going to be thinking about anything. You need somebody there um, with you, right? Um, who knows the system, who knows the ins and outs of giving birth, and who's going to be looking out for your best interest. So I highly recommend uh that if it's possible for you um anyways um i guess that's it for now y'all um again i want you all to meet you know our new our latest edition and i want you to meet my husband so we'll be getting into all of that later videos but um right now that's it so i hope y'all are having a blessed day um it's a beautiful day here in Accra. as you see it's a little hot but it's a beautiful day, so y'all have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching.